Because I found the perfect Christmas tree. <laughs> Gotta get the knees up, knees up in frame. Look at that. Look at those knees. Woo! Hey guys, we're back. We're back, kinda. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Cheers. Dr. Shock's back. And guess what? I bought some fancy pill. Yeah. Oh, what is this? This is this is um. It's a cranberry ginger shandy. It's fucking delicious, by the way. But uh, yeah, the teaser for the new Star Wars J.J. Abrams Star Wars Episode Seven. The teaser. It's a teaser. It's just a bunch of. It's just a bunch of fucking images. Yes. Yeah. All of our statements are completely irrelevant because really we don't know. No, nobody. Nobody fucking knows. And all the people who are going, this movie's gonna suck. Look at it. It's terrible. It's a fucking teaser. It's just something to get people talking, and it works. It does. It works brilliantly. We're doing it. You guys go see the Star Wars trailer. Oh my god. Oh, it's the Black Storm. It was trailer. exciting. There's a desert and a robot and a ball. I watched it. I missed it. I was, yeah, I'm like, okay, it's a teaser. It was a moment for me, though, because it is a cultural moment. I mean, Star Wars is such a big fucking thing. Yeah, no. It it's, is. It's not like 9 11, but it's like, where were you when you saw the Star <laughs> Wars teaser? So, anyways, John, what, what did you think of it? Tell me. Um, it's a teaser. Yeah. We don't know a lot. There is a lot, uh, a bunch of characters that I have no idea who they are. All right, well, first image. Stormtrooper. Yeah, all right. Let's oh, start yeah. from, let's just oh, go yeah, through yeah, the Go from the beginning. Go from the fucking beginning. All right, so the beginning, I don't know if it's racist or not yet, but they it's used... Because they use sand? What I want to know is the context around, like, whatever okay. the fuck's going on. Yeah, so first... Like, why, why is this dude dressed as a stormtrooper in the middle of a desert? Starts is, on Tatooine. Is he a stormtrooper? Is he? Is he a good guy that's not a, a part of the Empire? Like they did in the original movies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Nobody except for J.J. Abrams let's, and the whole cast. Let's talk about it. Get hyped. Let's talk about it. Get hyped. Well, okay. First off, I saw everyone bitching about how, like, what the fuck? He's not a clone. He doesn't look like one of the clones. They're supposed to be, all be clones. Oh, because of the th three other yeah. shitty movies they made? They weren't clones in the original three, guys. I'm going to pretend that those movies don't exist. Tony yeah, got actually got a response about that, and they said, they responded to him about, you know, well, after the first phase, the Wait, clones were... context. Tony got a response from From what? Star Wars on Twitter. <laughs> okay. He tweeted them. He made a joke about Spaceballs 2 or something. Tony's a fucking nerd. Yeah, because the black guy in the beginning, he was like, Spaceballs 2, lol, because the black guy, like, I ain't found shit. <laughs> it does feel like that. Yeah. It kind of feels like that. <laughs> like, thematic, like, color color palette wise. It's, yeah. uh, that's that exact same. And then they responded That's, to color palette wise. Yeah, it's a desert. It's a storm. Like he's dressed up as a stormtrooper. He's coming. Why, is the it, why are you always gonna bring color into it, John? I'm just saying color Fucking palette racer. wise. It's good blue sky. It's desert. <laughs> it's a black guy. And he's in the desert. He's it's combing the, same the desert. Thing. Yeah. But he he sent that to he he like forwarded that on Twitter like hashtag whatever. Yeah. And they responded to him saying like why he was a, a different guy. Why he wasn't the clone. Blah blah blah. And because clones were phased out after many years, and then they started recruiting people, and we're all, I'm a nerd, aren't I? Oh, man, no. Oh, God. You've gone too deep. I don't know very much about Star Wars, to be honest. Apparently, I do I like, a little. I like the original three. I don't know. So what happened next? Next, there was a little rolly droid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He went, he's playing on a ball, and yeah, he's having um, fun. I don't know if he's playing on a ball. He's He is the ball. Like, that's his body. Now, am I wrong? Like, is, it, is that? It looked, looked like a little soccer ball. Well, it's like it's like wheels on a and the head's on them. I saw pictures online of people okay, talking about that. Maybe that's what it was. I it was like know. a ball droid, and it rolled around. Am I wrong in saying that that's a real thing? Is, I it, have no idea. It looks real. I didn't look at it close enough. It looks like a practical effect. Like, they they made a thing that rolls on the ground and I really, filmed it. I really hope to see more practical effects in these damn movies. Yeah. I don't think I will, just because of that Millennium Falcon shot at the end, which I guess we'll get to. Well, look, I, I have no problem but, with, and we can get into it now, I have no problem with CG, with CG when it's needed. Yeah, Millennium course. Falcon, they only did it with props back then because it was the only way you could do it. Right. Nowadays, do that shit in CG and make it, it look nice. But it would have been awesome had they done it that way Yeah, again. but they shouldn't. Like, no, it, fuck yeah, they better. should. No, no, they fuck yeah, they should. They no. should build the models and they should go, how do we get this shot? Okay, we need a shot of the Falcon flying this way. Whee. Put it on a damn green screen. Move the camera towards it. All right, we got the Falcon flying over. It could have been done. I mean, and, I mean, you're compositing and all that shit. That can be done on a computer. I yeah. have no problems with that. No qualms. For the actual shots, it would have been nice to see a badass model. You make a big badass model. It could have been done, but I, don't have a pro I personally don't have a problem with them using CG where it's needed. Space yeah. war battles, do it in CG. Ships flying around, do it in CG. Jar Jar, Jar, Jar Binks and actual characters fuck in the movie. <laughs> it, it, there, there's actors fuck for a fucking reason. Fuck like the droids even. They could be real things. They don't need need to be little CGI things. They could be real. Are they going to bring those, real. those shitty droids back from the original? Those Roger Roger guys? Roger Roger. Fuck those assholes. I don't know, but I'm just like R2-D2. They were originally real, and yeah. then they made them all CG and the thing. Yoda was a fucking puppet, and then they changed him in the second one, and he thought like, oh, nobody will fucking notice. Oh, man. Did he, you know that? What? The puppet they changed from episode one to two. Why'd they do that, John? I don't know. 
In episode one, Yoda was a puppet, and episode then in episode one? two, oh yeah, they yeah. changed him to a CGI Yoda. Well, because he looked terrible as a puppet. Well, it's then like, why the fuck did you make him the puppet first time? I don't know why they didn't dig out the old puppet. Like it's got to be laying around somewhere. Like just, they probably touched it. But because you could tell they started from scratch. It was like, okay, we got to make a new Yoda puppet, and mm -hmm. they tried to make it look younger for some reason, but it doesn't look like Yoda. Teenage Yoda. Look at it. Hanging it, out. It, no, it looks weird as shit. Like yeah. that. I never got past that watching that <laughs> scene. It's like his eyes are way too big. It's like, why does Yoda look like a fucking Muppet? I mean, I realize he is a Muppet. Because Lucas didn't give he's a being, fuck. He's being voiced and acted by one of the most, you know, the guy who plays uh, Frank Oz, the guy who's, who's fucking yeah. Grover on the Sesame Street. Is that him? Yeah, it's Grover. Is him in the original. Listen and to the Grover. New one? Yeah. I didn't know that! Listen to Grover. I don't watch fucking Sesame Street every Grover, day, John. Grover and Yoda have the same voice because that's the same act. I don't even know if Sesame Street's still on. Somebody no, looked, somebody bullshit. looked that You up. watch it every day. Yeah, no, I get up in the morning, I masturbate while watching Big Bird. Back to the trailer. So we, we were on the ball droid and CGI. What happened next? Next was the girl who rode on the popsicle sticks. The lady on the bike rides away. Okay. A, there, okay, I don't know who the lady is. There's a bike. a bike. There's a bike, but it looks like one of those popsicles with the two sticks coming out of it. Like and she's riding stick? on it. Yeah, fudge stick, but with two <laughs> sticks and the ones you split open. And that's obviously in Tatooine. Tatooine. Yeah. We never went to space. There's no stars in this Star War. Those uh, those stormtroopers might have been in space. But, but a door came down, so yeah. they probably were walking out. They, got, helmet. they got helmets on. They might have grab boots. <laughs> Let's all play the speculation game like the rest of this video. I mean, really, it, like, it could, could be. <laughs> you they know could what? Be, they could be upside down. They could be on, in heaven. On a Star Destroyer that's been taken over by rebels and they're taking it back. They landed on the bottom of it. They got grab boots. They're going to walk in. What would make me happy is just a, a, a cohesive narrative and characters that I like. I mean, obviously, they got Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, the original cast back. She's going to be in a bikini. Oh, boy. Approved. Oh, boy. I mean, not approved. I mean, uh, official. <laughs> oh, God. I don't uh, approve of that. I wonder no. if they're going to add smell of vision to the mo movie. <sighs> you get her in a bikini and then they like spray fish on the audience. Woo. Oh, Carrie Fisher. Fish. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, what else happened? It's, they're stormtroopers, and yeah. that, that scene was kind of cool looking, and it was all like handheld shot, which yeah. I don't think we've seen in a Star Wars movie yeah, before. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. People yeah, were maybe, flipping maybe. out about that. I mean, it looks like a bunch of stormtroopers. Again, it's like it, you know, it's just flashes of images. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, this is happening. This is happening. Well, the teaser. I like the. I mean, look, I, I like the look of the movie. It looks like a Star Wars flick. The teaser's okay, to show you the, the tone. Yeah. The, the how's it gonna look? What's it, the feeling gonna be? Mm -hmm. That's what the teaser did. It's not there to explain the story to you. That's the trailer later on. Yeah, and who's the bad guy. I mean, there's, yeah, there, there are a lot of things that, like, I do want to know about the movie. Obviously, if they're stormtroopers, the, uh, the Empire has somehow survived what happened in episode, um, six. Well, a lot of people are Death saying, Death Star blowing up. Even though they, that got blown up, there's still factions here and there, you yeah. know, that they need to So, yeah, that's my out. question. Like, what are those factions? What are, I mean, this is 30 years later, so the Empire has been hanging out for 30 years, still fighting the rebels. Alright, so what else was there? Um, Star, uh, X-Wings? Yeah. Pilots and X-Wings, that shot looked awesome. See, that's when CGI, it, when it looks that real like that looked good no it looks good it's, don't fuck it, it all around i wish there were models but that's just me that's just me going on my nostalgia chip like, that can do cg models. but it looks good cg it's not shit yeah no i did like the uh the the, the guy in the cockpit it's mm -hmm. like that's a real looking cockpit yeah that's good it's I a like real the, thing they, they built they, they built that that's they didn't nice. just green screen here we go <laughs> yeah but yeah um i mean the biggest thing and like I, I was expecting when they when i fired the trailer up to see you know either mark hamill harrison ford carrie fisher it's pretty neat that they left them completely out i'm glad we didn't it's see it it's like okay i mean because it it would have been like an obvious shot of like you know the actors that you know yeah. and love. You're gonna have him turn, or are you just gonna have that one shot of Mark Hamill turning around, like mm -hmm. looking. I'm glad they didn't do it because it would have just been like, hey, remember when this was cool? Remember? <laughs> Sh show us later. I'm fine with them being in the movie, but let the focus be on new. Something it's else. It's a new yeah. film. And I'm fine. Yeah, I'm there. fine with that um, because yeah, Star Wars almost needs. You really could do. Uh, I mean, Star Wars is such a rich universe, and I mean that's why it has survived as long as it has. Mm -hmm. Is those movies created a universe where it's like, oh, I would love to live here and fly ships from planet to planet. But I mean, what, one of my favorite Star Wars stories, if you never played, was Knights of the Old Republic. Nope. Knights of the Old Republic told a better story than any of the prequels and it had nothing you know it there was like were none of, none of, of the characters exactly yeah. there was none of the characters that you knew from the movies it was its own original tale mm -hmm. so the idea you know the fact that you can do that in that universe is awesome you hand it off to a director and he can create his own story within this universe and it fits because the universe is huge so yeah I mean you really could have done a Star Wars movie without Mark Hamill and all those guys and it been set you know 300 years after the fact and all those guys have died and you maybe mention them like whatever but uh, I mean the fact that they're coming back is kind of neat what are, the, what are they gonna do with them is sort of my like, okay. I think um, they're just passing I hope, a I torch. hope they die in like the first 10 minutes. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, here's that shot of the Millennium Falcon. It's flying through the desert. Yeah. TIE fighters are chasing it. And then it just, like, you know, crashes into a building because Han's getting old, let's face it. Yeah. Chewie, God, is Chewie still there? Uh, in dog years, he better not be. Yeah, I was about to say. He must either be, like, che- 8 million years old. <laughs> Great to see old gray Chewie <laughs> blind as shit. <laughs> just can't hear anymore. Oh, All right, Chewie. He's just walking around in the background, fucking confused, you know, like an old dog. Before we get... Oh, we have to put him down on this movie? No, we're not putting down <laughs> Chewie. But seriously, like, I wonder, like, are they going to kill some of those characters? Because I don't want them to kill them. I do. I just want them... Look, I think what, what, what Disney's doing is they want to make this another Marvel. They want to make a million movies out of this. Mm-hmm. So what they're going to... They, they're doing the smart thing to ease people into it. Like, here's the original cast. Look, guys, it's legit Star Wars. Ugh. Then they phase out and the new people come in. And then they can... I think there's rumors of, like, a, um, a bounty hunter movie with... With not Django, not Boba Fett, but like that kind of a thing. They, there's been rumors of that. Very last thing. <laughs> thing I want to address: the the stupid. Everyone's bitching about the sword too. The the whole. Oh yeah. The, 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 the guy walks out. <laughs> I like it. Is that bad? It makes sense. And Angry Joe explained it in a way that I think makes sense. It's a hilt. How, yeah, no, I how get, many I people's get. hands got cut off in fucking Star Wars movies, John? No, I get it. How many? I get it. So you have protecting little things popping out. Yeah. They'll protect your hand. You won't but, need a robotic hand but anymore. The things, but the things have like little edges on them, and yeah. then and then the lightsaber part starts. Yeah. So if if a lightsaber oh, well, were to go down, oh, well, that fucking technical. If I'm the just... lightsaber were to go all the way down to the hilt of the sword, it oh, would still God. chop it off because there's still a little thing right there. God, you're getting too technical. You know what? If it was. If it was a hole right here and then it came out, all right, I might buy that. Hilt. Hilt. Yeah, what's it doing now? Hilt. 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 Hilt protects the hand. All right, whatever. Everybody stop your bitching. Bullshit. All right, (laughs) final thing. What do you think, Johnny? Excited for the trailer? Uh, Excited for the movie? I mean, I want to see it. Yeah, me too. But, I mean, it's a year away. Aw. Yeah. Uh, I like J.J. Abrams. Uh, I thought his Star Trek reboot was wonderful. First one. Uh, yeah, second one was... Se- but second one I still enjoyed. It was like, it wasn't as good as the first more one. more action schlock Yeah, but it was... Um, I mean, yeah, the problem with this... I mean, we could go into that. Oh, yeah. my God. But I still enjoyed it, mm-hmm. and I, I think he's a very competent director. I'm excited to see what he does with this with this franchise. So, yes, I do want to see the film. And, I mean, God, f- who, who the fuck isn't going to watch this movie? Everyone is, when even it if comes they say, out. I'm going to boycott it. No! Yeah, no, You're yeah. going to see it. You're gonna, I mean, you have to. It's a Star Wars film. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah, it's like... Star Wars comes out, everybody pays attention. Those three shitty prequels, everybody hated. We we all still went and watched them for but some reason. But that's what Fuck I'm excited I excited about. From what we can gather from the teaser, and at least what I've heard on, about the set and everything, it seems like they care to make a good movie. Oh, well, they fucking all, better. George Lucas clearly just went, I don't fucking care, it's Star Wars. He if I old. make it, they will come. They could e- Disney could have easily went, oh, let's just fucking make whatever. They'll come. They'll come. It looks like they know that, but they're also taking care to make it good. Yeah. George Lucas was never, uh, never a good director. He is a brilliant technical guy mm-hmm. when it comes to pushing the bounds of what special effects can do and just you know how can we get this shot he was awesome at that and he, I, even in the prequels it was like you know for the time I mean I know there's an overuse of CGI but he pioneered certain things in CGI that are still used today to much better effect he ruined the film industry with his three <laughs> movies and caused everyone to no. go CGI crazy no I mean he, he I mean but... he tried to push for it I mean like look at Jar Jar Binks I mean as much as we hate Misa's him Misa's fucking he was, Misa, Misa. he was sort of the first CG character ever created for a huge movie like that. Anyways, that's what I think about the Star Wars, or that's what we think about the Star Wars teaser. I'm including you. Oh, yeah. You're included. John's here, too. (laughs) Stop. Anyways, yeah, what do you guys think of the teaser? Please go watch it and leave a, leave a comment below and let us know. Also, here, the whole spiel. Like this video and like us on Facebook. Hey, we have a Twitch now. You can go to Twitch and, and follow us on Twitch because we Twitch now. Go go there. Um, links in the description below. And uh, guys, we're back for a little bit. So, yay! Didn't you miss this?